All right, he's me here. I just got done running the, um, the what should I call it? The Alta Redshift EX. Man, it was a lot of hoot <laughs> riding that thing around. Man, it just goes over the bumps, no problem. It's so light. Thinking back, be used to riding the Redshift. Uh, I tried to test the engine braking out. It, I could, do, I could feel a little bit of the engine braking. They said maps three and four have all the engine braking. So, uh, but yeah, that's where. That's where it's at, man. But uh, I was on two like the whole time, and I could feel a little bit of engine braking, you know. Um, but uh, I felt like uh, I, I felt like uh, I wish you could customize the the regenerator braking se uh, settings, you know. I wish uh, you could adjust the level of regen separate from the mapping, you know. I mean, I guess it's nice to have that, like it's pretty set it and forget it type thing. But I wish it had like some customizable modes and stuff. I wish I had a little bit more regen, just for those, you know, really steep. But I, I, feel, I didn't feel like it was out of control going downhill at all, you know. It's fine. I thought it was okay. Oh yeah, so yeah, I was talking about the regen earlier. Um, I wish I had it set up like, um, like the uh, Ego. The, um, what is that, like the, I can't think, I'm so tired, I can't think right now. Um, uh, the Energica EVA. You could adjust the power and the braking map. The suspension on those Altas were so soft. They just soaked everything up, you know? I'm not used to that, you know? The VR is so stiff compared to those. But it has to be, you know? But the, man, I remember the Alta. The suspension was so soft and it just soaked everything up so well, you know? But it was so light, it would never bottom out, you know? And um, you could probably use sit on it most of the time, you know, <laughs> not lying, that's how well it soaks it up, you know, that's the difference between a dirt bike and a, you know, heavyweight dual sport, you know, but I had a lot of fun riding the Alta, and I had a lot of fun riding the DR, it's a totally different beast, that's for sure, <laughs> DR will not spin the tires like the Alta will, I'm wondering if you could gear it down a little bit, you know, it feels like it's geared a little, a little too crazy, you know, well, it's a good thing they have the maps and everything. I, I, one thing I, I didn't do is I didn't write it in, in uh, the first map. They said the first map was the, um, was the, was, was like a, the power, it feels like a 125cc or something. 125 smoker, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun riding that. All that, man, it's, uh, I don't, I don't get to ride a whole lot of dirt bikes, you know? And I forget how awesome they are, you know. I mean, uh, already a dual sport blows my mind away, you know. And when you get on a dirt bike, things you can do on that beast, man. It is insane. I've seen them do some crazy stuff on the on the Alta's uh, Facebook page. Uh, I don't remember how much it costs. I think uh, it's upwards of ten thousand. I'll put a subtitle below. Um, yeah, and, uh, all I remember is the brakes locked up really easily. Yeah, they said like don't touch the rear brakes, <laughs> but but the cool thing is you can lock up the rear brake. Actually, they had a, they had a, uh, an MX model with a left uh, rear brake, le uh, left handlebar rear brake. I, actually, I might want to try that out next time just to see how that is. Um, yeah, and then you can just you can pretty easily modulate the rear front and rear, you know. I me, mean, I've never really gotten used to using the uh, the rear brake, you know, on a motorcycle. I mean, I use it, but I don't think I I don't think I have the kind of control that uh I don't have the control that uh that uh um, that uh um, that, you know a handlebar uh, yeah handlebar mounted control gives you know a brake lever. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if I would own one. I, you know what? I I kind of want a smaller bike. It the bike felt. Um, yeah, actually, I never I never mentioned how uh, I was on my tippy toes on that bike, uh, and I could see a lot of like short people wanting to ride it, man. And I was, I was surprised they could ride it. So just because you're short, don't mean you can't ride it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I was on my tippy toes. It's a pretty tall bike. I sat on one before at, at um, SF BMW. It was a Supermoto though, so that's probably lower. But I, 
I got, you know, I kind of got the feeling, it feels kind of like you're riding an XR. Yeah, it feels like you're riding like a Honda XR. That's what the, what the you know, it's got the narrow seat and everything. And, um, yeah, but the bike didn't feel heavy at all. Um, surprisingly, I don't, I don't know how much it weighs. I'll put a subtitle below how much it weighs. Um, it couldn't have been more than 300 pounds, I'll tell you that. Uh, I know it's got that big old heavy battery, but... But yeah, and I was surprised. I was I was looking at the I was looking at the way they put the they, they engineered the, the suspension, the frame, and it's like they it's like they it's like they sculpted that engine to fit into the the frame and everything. It was nice. It looks like it's like a work of art, baby. <laughs> it's like a work of art. I love it. Um, and, and then you got that battery over there in the front, so. But all the weight is down low, there's no gas tank, so that's a good thing. No gas tank, so there's no weight up top, you know, like a, like a normal uh, motorcycle. So, so that's why they're saying it feels a lot lighter than, than it seems, so. That's the good thing about that. Um, foot pegs are all right. Um, I try to stand most of the time, but you could do some sit down riding on it. Uh, yeah, for trail riding, I would just, pick one I guess uh, unless you you know unless you really know how to slide the rear if you're pretty used to riding a two-stroke with like explosive power like a 250 two-stroke you should be good on it man you should be able to slide that that puppy no problem you know me I'm not you know I ain't ride the DR dude if I if I can get a little slippity slide oh in uh it's a good day for me <laughs> but yeah I, I get that feeling like you're in a two-stroke and it's kind of like an on off so you can you can you can uh, actually it's it's actually harder to to uh, to control than a two stroke now I think about it the the rear just spins so easily you know um, you got to be really careful with that throttle man or else the bike will just get away from you but uh, and in in map number two uh, I should have tried it on one first you know I was like yeah forget it give me the power <laughs> put it on two right away I should have put it on one first you know. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I wish I could have taken it down on the, like, Trail 3 or something, but I guess that would take too long. Um, but, uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it's nice that it's a dual sport, too. I wonder how it is riding on the street. <laughs> I know, I wonder what the top speed is on that bad boy. It is a dual sport, so you can take it on the pavement, so. But yeah, um, I'll look that up, what the, what the top speed is you can do some, uh, some craziness on it. Must be a lot of fun to ride. Uh, and I'll put the range statistics down below right now. And um, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Um, it's a little pricey. I think I would want one that's a little bit smaller. And I, you know, I feel like I don't really, I'm not a motocross racer or anything. I don't need that kind of explosive power. It's nice that they have different modes, you know, that you can put it in to dial the power back or up, you know to your taste. Um, maybe they have a way you can customize the mappings. That would be nice. Because I like to have a lot of regen, you know. Yeah, I like to have a lot of regen. Um, yeah, so there it is. Uh, that was the Alta uh, Redshift EX that I rode. And uh, I wanted to give it, I wanted to get another go at it so I can uh, use the um, map one, but there was like a long line of people waiting to ride it and everything. It was a quite a busy day at the motorcycle park, man. Um, but I had a lot of fun. Um, maybe if they do it again, I'll come out and then uh, we'll try. Uh, we'll try number. Uh, we'll try uh, setting one. But I feel like uh, I, I'm one of those people. Like, yeah, I really like to twist the throttle. You know, that's why I like riding my KLX so much. You know, you're constantly on the throttle. But I know. I remember I got massive, massive arm pump riding that thing, man. Because I was. I was, I was trying so hard to work that throttle, you know, to work it really smoothly, you know. And, I, you know, yeah, and it's, that's my problem. I, I gripped the handlebars too tight. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, I liked it. I liked it a whole lot. Man, I love electric bikes, man. After after I rode that, ooh, Lotus. Uh, after I rode, uh, whatchamacallit, um, after I rode, this, I've been riding the Zeros and the, and the Impulse all the time. Man, it is, it is a hoop, man, riding an electric bike, dude. I'm telling you. Only the only uh, yeah, the only thing is the range, you know. But with, for a dirt bike, 
you don't have to really worry about range too much. You're not really going too far. You're just hitting up the trails, you know. I heard that you you can get a good amount of runtime off of the um, you can get a good amount of runtime off of the um, off of the red shifts. You can get pretty far. Uh, like a big place like Stony Ford, man. You, hopefully the battery don't run out, right? The one I rode was about a half charge, so I don't know if it affects the power depending on how much charge you got. I'll tell you this, on the impulse, if I if I goose it and it's like a 10% uh, and I'm in like sport mode, it'll it'll freak out and it'll hit a low voltage cutoff and it'll just turn the bike off. So it's uh, it has gets a, a voltage lag, you know, when you're low on uh, electrons. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, It'd be great to take it for an extended ride. <laughs> I wish I could rent one for a day. That would be great. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm just gonna beat the shit out of it. You know? Now that's another thing, man. It's a, uh, it's quite an expensive uh, bike. Um, it's quite an expensive bike. I, you know, to tell you the truth, I bought my impulse for 8,500 bucks. You know, and I, for you can get a nice street bike. That gets about 100 miles of range. Well, not 100. I get, I get 70 or 80 miles. Okay. <laughs> and uh, and yeah. So uh, that's what I'm talking about, man. Uh, the, the electric bikes just gotta come down in price. It's only it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Uh, it's only a matter of time before uh, before they do come down in price. You know. Maybe there'll there'll be some kind of new battery technology breakthrough. I know, I know people are, you know, there's engineers hard at work on it, you know, to find a more energy dense uh, sort resource, you know, and uh, uh, resource storage storage medium is what it is. Um, but uh, you know, that is the that is the top of the line right now, man. The redshift, top of the line. The redshift. Then there's the zero bikes. But the zero is like not really a hardcore dirt bike. Not a hardcore dirt bike. So yeah, I had a blast right in the, the Alta. Should go do it again. Uh, I like to give it another go at, uh, in uh, map one. I think they were like leaving, and I didn't. I didn't want to like hog the bike, you know. <laughs> I already. I already went on the GP track like three times, you know. Just having more fun every lap. <laughs> That's my problem, man. When I'm got, when I'm out there, I have too much fun, you know. And I push it too hard. Also, redshift, good stuff. I, I wish them a uh, a bright future. Uh, if I could afford one, would I get one? Man, that's a good question. Maybe a smaller one. I don't really like. I don't really want a big dirt bike like that, you know. Um, it well, you know, to tell you the truth, the, the bike fit me perfectly. I like I said, I was on my tippy toes, you know. I didn't. I don't think I bottomed it out in any time, man. Never, never bottomed it out. So it's a good thing. The suspension is very good on that bike, man. So that is the end of my ride today. It's time to go home. Uh, the freeway is not too far ahead. Had a lot of fun on the DR and the Redshift. Uh, I'll right. do it again. Uh, Pays me out.